gut bacteria and brain disorders. The blood-brain barrier, is the main shield or fort which protects the brain from intrusion of any foreign substance. The fundamental principle behind drug development in neuroscience is to get drugs across the blood-brain barrier. In most cases, even with the drugs that do successfully cross the blood-brain barrier, only a fraction of the drug reaches the brain in pharmacological doses. The rest float around the body, hitting off target sites and causing unwanted effects. Trillions of bacteria residing in our gut, have the potential to change drug development in neuroscience. The ability of the microbiome to communicate with the brain is utilized to reach the brain safely. The current approach is very challenging and the idea is to drug the gut and not the brain. There is a lot of evidence that the microbiome affects the function of the brain, the development of the brain, the activity of circuits in the brain, and behaviors. There are organisms and pathways that exacerbate neurological conditions and others that are protective. The newer neurological drugs completely remain in the gut only they do not enter into the circulation and bring changes in the brains that are being drugged. Thus it bypasses the hurdle of getting the drugs across the brain, and to let the microbiome do the work to connect the gut with the brain. It is widely believed that the driving pathology of Parkinson's disease is the aggregation of the neuronal protein alpha-synuclein found in presynaptic vesicles. In its normal function, alpha-synuclein is a monomer that aids in dopamine transmission, when it aggregates, it leads to the death of the cell. In 1817 when James Parkinson, first documented Parkinson's disease as shaking palsy, even at that time he has documented that many patients had gut issues. Now we know that up to 80% of Parkinson's disease patients suffer from constipation. It is proved that if you remove the microbiome from a Parkinson's disease patients, they do not exhibit any motor symptoms, the hallmark disturbances in gait and posture stability. Through research it was found that the DNA sequence of the microbiome in fecal samples, of Parkinson's disease patient is different from a healthy control. The microbiome is, indeed, contributing to the symptoms and they are not a consequence of some other change. Further research isolated a single species of bacteria that induces all Parkinson's disease phenotypes and to take it one step further, identified the genes that are responsible for inducing the Parkinson's disease symptoms. When the gene is knocked out, the symptoms are no longer present. These genes are not found in human cells they are completely seen only in microbial pathways. Scientists have developed small molecule inhibitors against the gene produces in that pathway. Using them, they can, essentially, drug the ability of these bacteria to produce this product. When they do this, the bacteria are completely viable, and the host is absolutely healthy. The molecules are made to be completely gut selective, they do not enter the circulation, so the molecule is not found in the urine, serum, nor the brain. Thus we can deliver molecules that are highly gut specific and target microbial pathways to achieve benefits in a classic neurological condition. In short by drugging the microbiome, one should be able to restore a healthy brain. What diet one should eat to fix the gut microbiome? to reshape them, in a meaningful and healthy way, that is tailored to you is simply unconfirmed. At present there is no idea what healthy even is, as far as the microbiome is concerned. The microbiome configuration of an individual is based on his genetics, diet, and life experiences. What is healthy for me is totally different from healthy for you. Thank you.